My retiring address focuses on the discontentment that we actually deal with day to day. Um, meaning I know that oftentimes during my life, I spent too much time worrying about what other people thought about me and the different goals I was pursuing just because I was so worried about proving myself to everyone else and to myself. Um, and then I finally came to the point where I realized that I don't have to live in that discontentment any longer, that those goals and those things are great, but ultimately I can find some my identity in something different. I actually experienced a lot of discontentment throughout high school, um, striving for different goals, knowing that I wanted to be a Florida State officer, knowing I wanted to graduate as valedictorian in my class, because I watched my sister do them both, and I really felt like I needed to do them also. So being able to live through that experience and finally coming to the point where God put me on my knees, basically to tell me that these are not everything in your life, that there's something so much greater out there than just these things. Um, it was really that experience of it all through high school and especially during my senior year of realizing that, you know what, I can move on from this. That's whenever I came to the point where I realized, you know what, this is not where it's at. I know that it's the ninth general session and that the whole convention will be wrapped up at that point. And I'm really excited for that day just because I know that my year of service will be over and it's going to start a new leave for other individuals. But I really hope that throughout this convention and also during that ninth general session that they feel really inspired and that they understand that ultimately it's not about the titles and placings, it's not about the goals, it's not about the different trophies and awards that they got here at State Convention, but ultimately it's about how they grew as a person. So if there's anything that I could do and be a part of that role or the individuals such as my teammates or the keynote speakers who are going to inspire those members, that's really what I want to get out of that session and throughout the whole entire convention week. Be the Revolution was an opportunity for us to really focus in on what we have to do as agriculturalists, but also as FFA members and as individuals. Um, I know that throughout high school and middle school, we're trying to find ourselves. And ultimately, that we're given this placing and that we define ourselves in our mind as a certain way. Um, being the Revolution was kind of the mindset that we each have a role to play and we each have a choice of how we want to act in the future, of the type of leaders that we want to be. So empowering each and every one of those members to believe that they can be the difference that they want to see in the world.